In this video, I'm going to show you 10 things you didn't know ChatGPT could do. The first one is custom instructions and personalization. So when you click on your name here, you open the menu, you go to personalization, and then there's a section called custom instructions. So it tells you that this is where you can add additional behavior, style, and tone preferences. And this is really useful if you have a preference for how you want ChatGPT to respond to you each time. So when would you actually do that? I'm going to give you two examples. So the first one is imagine you're a busy business owner. So this is an example of custom instructions that you can paste into this field. I'm a busy business owner. I need concise, actionable advice in bullet point format. Keep answers short and focused on next steps. Always point out risks, trade-offs and quick wins instead of long-winded theory. Another situation in which you might want to use it if you create content of any type on a day-to-day -day basis. So here are some custom instructions that you could use. I'm a content creator who writes blogs, scripts and social media posts. I need content that's easy to read, uses storytelling techniques and connects emotionally with the audience. So every time you prompt ChatGPT for something, it will take these instructions into account when presenting the output. Don't forget to sign up for my free weekly newsletter where I share my top tips on how to use AI at work and in your everyday life. The link is in the video description. The second thing that ChatGPT can do is it can analyze documents. It can read the documents that you upload to it and then you can prompt it about them. So this is how you would actually do it. When you go to ChatGPT, you just click on that plus sign and select add photos and files. Once you've done that, ChatGPT will have access to that document and you can prompt it about it. To give you a practical example of when you would use this, imagine you're an HR professional. There's been an update to an HR policy and you need to email everyone about the changes. How ChatGPT can help you with this is you can upload a copy of the old policy and the new policy and then you can ask it to summarize the changes between the two documents. And then you can ask it to draft a one page memo to all employees. And you can see this can save you an enormous amount of time. The next thing ChatGPT can do for you is it can analyze images. So again, the way you would do this, when you go to ChatGPT, you click on the plus sign and select upload photos. You can then prompt ChatGPT about that photo. So when would you actually do it? For example, imagine you're trying to analyze a chart, but you're not sure what it means. You can ask it something like, explain this graph like I'm a manager who isn't familiar with technical terms. And you can ask it, what is the main trend? Another example is something that we do a lot when we go to meetings. There's always a whiteboard where we write down some notes and ideas. And then when the meeting is finished, you can just take a picture of the whiteboard, upload it into ChatGPT and ask it something like this. Turn this whiteboard photo into an organized meeting summary with clear action items and owners. So it's perfect for project managers or just people who hate writing up notes after meetings. The next thing you can do with ChatGPT is you can use projects and projects are great for organizing work related to one topic inside ChatGPT and they're also great because you're able to upload files and different materials that ChatGPT will then be able to refer to in individual chats within that project. So I've got a separate video explaining exactly how to do that so make sure you check it out. The next thing you can do with ChatGPT is you can use branches and this is super useful. Often when you prompt ChatGPT, it ends the response with a question about what it should do next. So I'm going to give you an example from my business, which is about helping people learn English as a foreign language. So I create a lot of content about English. So I'm going to ask it to give me 10 English phrasal verbs that can be used in everyday situations. So that's the response. And as you can see at the end, there's a question about what I want to do next. So the question is, would you like me to group them by topic? Or by level and sometimes it's tempting to actually say yes to this because I want to do that but I also want to do something completely different with this output. 
So there's always a decision you have to make. How do you want to continue this conversation? And that's why branches are so useful. So you can just click on those three dots here and then click branch in new chat. And essentially what it's gonna do is it's gonna create a separate branch. So you're gonna have two conversations happening simultaneously. I will be able to continue this conversation in this chat and then I can go to the other tab to take a slightly different direction and, for example, ask it to create a quiz or give me some more verbs. The next thing you can do with ChatGPT is role playing. So you can ask it to role play different scenarios with you and it forces you to think through different scenarios that you may have missed otherwise. Some people say that AI kills creativity, but I think this is a great example of where it actually supports your creativity because it encourages you to think through different scenarios that you wouldn't have considered otherwise. So an example of this would be if you're a project manager, for example, trying to decide whether or not to launch a particular feature of your product. You might want to ask ChatGPT to role play a scenario where it acts as a skeptical customer. You can ask it something like, challenge me on why this new product feature matters. The next one is deep research. And deep research is a type of AI research that goes beyond the traditional keyword search. So it analyzes your question and it makes connections before offering an answer. So deep research is something that you can activate by clicking the plus button and then selecting deep research. It is best for up-to-date, niche or evolving topics. It also provides quotes and links so that you can verify the sources easily. And generally, it prioritizes accuracy and depth. ChatGPT can also help you become a better writer. So you can ask it for feedback on your own writing in lots of different ways. For example, if you think that your writing is messy, you can upload it to ChatGPT and ask it to look at the overall structure and suggest a more logical order. You can also ask it to highlight any sentences or phrases that feel confusing, wordy or unclear. And you can ask it to point out where the writing might lose the reader's attention. So you can perfect the craft of grabbing the attention of your audience. ChatGPT can also help you humanize your content. So I'm sure you've noticed that ChatGPT output can seem quite robotic and quite bland, even if you're really good at crafting your prompts. So what ChatGPT can help you with is you can upload your own writing into it and ask it to mirror that style. And I've got a separate video about that, so make sure you check it out as well. And the final thing you can do with ChatGPT is you can use it for project management. ChatGPT can help you break a huge project like planning a wedding or starting a business into tasks, timelines and milestones. So for example, I'm leading a project to launch a new company website in three months. So I'm going to say that in my prompt and obviously I'm going to add lots of context about what the company does, what the product or service is, who the target audience is and what the brand voice looks like. And then I'm going to ask ChatGPT to break this project into phases with specific tasks estimated timeframes and dependencies. And I'm also going to ask it to organize it into marketing, design and technology categories and to include milestones and suggest how often the team should meet to review progress. So you can see that the setup of the project is much easier once you've got the initial structure. Now, let me know in the comments what you're using ChatGPT for and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also to my free weekly newsletter where I share my top tips on using AI at work and in your everyday life. And I'll see you next time. Bye.